So I've preheated my instant pot. So I'm adding one um, onion chopped and two sticks of celery. And then I've got about 350 um, chestnut um, mushrooms and uh, there's actually a little bit of white cup mushrooms mixed in as well. So I'm just gonna add all of these in as well. That will give a little bit of moisture to this stew. As this is frying, the mushrooms will be releasing some of their juices. So I wanna fry these for a few minutes. So yeah, you can see it's um, reduced quite a bit, the volume, and mushrooms have released their juices, which will, you know, help to obviously deglaze the pot. So we want for the water to evaporate a little bit more so that they start frying and browning. As you can see, it dried out more or less. I mean, there's still, a little bit of liquid but I'm gonna add my carrots so this is two carrots grated so as you can see the carrots have kind of moistened a bit but um, we're gonna wait until the liquid evaporates so that I could um, you know fry this whole mixture so yeah now it's dried out as you can see so I'm gonna fry this for um, a minute or two and while I do this I put um, maybe four or five um, sprigs of fresh thyme so just adding them here so as you can see it's frying nicely and if it starts sticking like here you could always add a tablespoon or two of the uh, stock so I've got here some vegetable stock that I made myself um, so yeah I'm just gonna deglaze the pan and keep on frying so now that's nicely fried, I'm going to add um, other ingredients. So this is optional. So this is about a cup um, and a half of some kind of beans I get in my veg bag, but I happen to have these. So I'm going to just add them. Um, but like I say, that's optional. So here I've got a courgette sliced. So add that. Then um, I've got beetroot, so you could use normal red beetroot, um, but I've got this nice um, um, kind of uh, pink um, ribbed beetroot here, as you can see, so I'm going to add that, sorry. So that's one large beetroot here, and this is the, the star of the show, my beetroot leaves, so this is from one large beetroot um, that I've got, adding that here. Then I've got um, about 100 grams of tofu that I've chopped up, I'm adding. I've got about two and a bit cups of chickpeas, so you could add just one tin, for example, but this is what I've got, so I want to use them all up. So I'm just adding them in here, so these are cooked chickpeas. Then I've got about half a cup of chopped fresh parsley from uh, my garden here. Or you could use some, um, some dried ones, maybe uh, about a teaspoon of dried parsley if you don't have fresh. And here I've got a liter of the, my homemade stock. So this is using vegetable scraps. So this one doesn't have any um, salt at all. So what uh, for saltiness, I'm gonna use two cubes of um, um, mushroom powder here so um, mushroom stock sorry mushroom stock cubes so two because it's a litre um, I'll use two or alternatively you could just use normal vegetable stock that's already got some salt or just add um, some salt and maybe um, you could also add a little bit of miso paste as well if, if you're not using the um, you know kind of stock cubes 
And to add a little bit of tanginess to this, I'm gonna um, just pour a quarter of a cup of green olive brine, or you could add a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or um, normal vinegar. So I'm gonna give this a mix. So to mix in my um, stock cubes here, you probably actually want to heat up your stock and dissolve the, the uh, stock cubes in it. That would be a, a better way to do it. I was just a little bit too lazy, didn't wanna heat up my stock. <laughs> So, if you're making up, obviously, stock from your stock powder or stock cubes, then yeah, just pour boiling water on them and dissolve them first before adding to this. So yeah, so um, I want this a little bit kind of, it's nearly immersed. As you can see, there's liquid up to the top, um, up to the top of the, um, the vegetables here so I'm gonna just put the lid on I'm gonna put the lid on and, and put it, gonna put it on high pressure for um, 15 minutes so yeah um we'll check it after 15 minutes and when it naturally releases as well so the stew is finished um, so it's it's naturally released. I'm gonna dish some and we're gonna taste test it. So now on to the taste testing. Um, let me give this a go. Mmm. Oh, this is good. You can kind of taste the um, mushrooms and the beetroot. Mmm, this is yummy. You could also add a little bit of sweet chili sauce, I think would go really well here. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in comments what you thought about it, if you try it. And if you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos and um, Instant Pot and different kind of um, vegan dishes on Wednesdays and Sundays. And as always, remember, food is fuel, so be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time.